Welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with us today. Today I am again on the Mothership Cronin, but check it out. VSE 50, finally. 50.02. So, 10 more levels to go to unlock Scientist. 30 more levels to go to unlock Intuition. Scientist is really my big goal. Intuition only contributes like 3% to your defense skills, so do I want to unlock it? Obviously, yes. Am I in some super hurry? No. I'm much more interested in getting to level 55 Evader and unlocking quickness. Much, much, much larger of a contribution, especially at level 55. That's very, very important. So today, I want to try and get at least this video knocked out before I have to go to bed. I had one night off, and I wanted to try and make the use most of it get as much usefulness out of it as I could. As I said in another video I recently made, I've got about 12 more RKs to finish burning through, 10 to 12, something like that. And as soon as I'm done with that, which will probably be today or tomorrow sometime, I will be starting my planetary circle. I plan to hit Next Island, Taloon, and Cali at some point, and then restock on RKs and come back. I am already almost halfway through the month of June. I've got a couple more videos I need to shoot on Next Island. And a few things I need to do. I'm trying to get some real life stuff taken care of. That way it's just done and over with and hopefully a burden off my shoulders. Problem is, I'm not in control. All I can do is just kind of lay here and wait. And wait on God to do whatever God's going to do. And take care of it however he's going to take care of things. And just kind of wait for it to unfold. So I really didn't want to jump the gun and start doing a lot of stuff in game. Only to get sidelined by real life. But with Halloween Mayhem coming up and with everything else I have going on in-game, there's some things that I want to do in-game, and I can't just put them off inevitably. So let me start off by saying that I'm going to explain the what, when, where, all that. It's the when that is the big thing. With me working seven days a week, never having a day off, or if I do get a day off, it's a total fluke and I don't know about it in advance, on top of the real-life stuff that I'm dealing with knowing exactly when and where I'm going to be in game is kind of problematic. So the when and where I'm going to be in game is kind of subject to change at the moment, but I want to go ahead and give you guys this information now. That way you guys can go ahead and start planning. So I know I've said in several videos that I will be doing Stevie B's Fight Club. You know, Mindark pulled the rug out from underneath us with Summer Mayhem. They could have told us you know, six, seven, eight weeks in advance that they weren't going to do it. They didn't. They waited till almost the last minute and then didn't even give us a proper announcement. And I think that was really cruddy because of the way people gear up for events and the amount of money that they invest planning on events. And then with Summer Migration, they pulled the Summer Strong Boxes out of the loot pool, just did away with them completely. And with that mixed with the very, very low drop rate for limited LEM weapons and the one in a billion shot at a tango or a good excavator or mod shadow armor it's just a gamble fest it is made simply to drain people's ped cards if they refuse to do anything other than gamble so that being the case and mind dark thinking that these shared loot events which do the exact same thing they just drain your ped card are a good idea i've taken it upon myself to create stevie b's fight club now, I've announced this in previous videos, I just haven't gone into any detail on it. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more detail on it today, so you can decide if it's your cup of tea and something you might want to check out. It's going to be some people's cup of tea, it's not going to be other people's cup of tea, and that's fine. It's not meant to be an event for everybody, but if it is an event for you, I'm honored to have you be a part of it. So... To tell you guys a little bit without giving away every little detail because there are some details I do want to save for the people who actually participate in the Fight Club. The very first thing I did when I had this idea is I stepped back and I said, okay, I've got multiple things I need to do at the same time, multiple goals I need to accomplish all at once to make this work. How can I do this? And I had to look at the game mechanics. And I had to look at game mechanics in a way you normally would not look at them. I had to look at them in a way most people would never think to look at them. And then I had to say, what are all the problems with looking at them this way? I essentially had to break the game and break the game mechanics and say, how can I make these work in a way they were not necessarily designed to work? And I think I was able to successfully do that. I think I was able to do that in a way that will make everything go very, very smoothly. So let me say from the get-go, this is my event. 
Stevie B's Fight Club, notice it's called Stevie B's Fight Club. Notice it's not called Your Fight Club. So, for the people out there that are going to wine, because I know there's going to be one, not the majority of the Stevies, not the majority of my subs, but there's always inevitably somebody that wines. My Fight Club, my rules. You break my rules, you are out of my Fight Club. Period. End of story. No do-overs, no, no sorries. That is just how it is. And the reason I do that is because in order to break the game mechanics, it requires people to cooperate in some manner. Not necessarily with each other, but with me and with the rules. So if I'm going to go through the trouble to do this, then at the most basic level, I expect people to at least cooperate with the rules, not break the rules. So that said, I'm going to have two different flavors, hopefully three, one of which will be mining. I haven't worked that one completely out yet. I've got a little bit more to do on that. I wanted to focus on the hunting fight club first because of the fact that more people are interested in hunting than mining. Once we get the hunting fight club going, then I can work on the mining part. I've got a way to do it. I just haven't put a lot of work into it because I've been working on this part first. So the Stevie B's fight club, the hunting version, which is the only version there is for now, is going to come in two distinct flavors. There's going to be on-planet Calypso, and there's going to be off-planet Calypso. Now, when I say off-planet Calypso, could be anywhere else, just not on Cali. Now, if you are a brand new player, if you're extremely low level, if you've only been in the game for a couple of weeks, you do not need to worry about the off-Cali Fight Club. That should not even be a concern, because you will not be able to do it. I can promise you that. At the same time, if you have been in game for at least a couple of months and have some amount of basic skills and knowledge of the game, and you're a subscriber on this channel, so the vast majority of Stevies out there, you will want to partake in the off Cali Fight Club, not on the one on Cali. And the reason I split it into two groups, which you guys will see as you participate, I needed something that could work for lower level players that are brand brand new, and I needed something that could work for higher level players. And obviously what interests lower level players is not going to interest higher and vice versa. And also because of the way I have to do it, it would not make sense to take somebody who created an account yesterday and throw them in the mix with somebody who created an account nine months ago. It just would not make sense to do it that way. So I do not right now have any low level new player friendly on Cali Fight Clubs totally planned and worked out because there is a critical component of the Fight Club that I cannot necessarily have or cannot necessarily make work with the extremely low level new players on Cali doing it the way I would do it on Cali. I'm working on that. I think there's probably a workaround. I've just got to figure out exactly what it is. So that said, let me explain for the higher level players what will be required to participate in the Fight Club. So, first of all, like I said, these higher level fight clubs, they will not be on Cali. They will be off Cali. The first one, I can almost guarantee you, is going to be on Next Island. And not because I want to make a video on Next Island, not because of Ascension Armor, because of what is going to be needed for us to do to make it work, and because it is the perfect opportunity for a test run for this. So, it will almost assuredly be on Next Island. Future Fight Clubs will be on Next Island, Monria, and Taloon. We might have some on Rocktropia, Arcadia, and Cyrene also, but right now the list is Next Island, Taloon, and Monria specifically. Not necessarily in that order, but the very first one, I almost promise you, will be on Next Island. And it will not be in the very, very, very distant future. It will be here probably next couple of weeks, maybe sooner. So if you were going to want to participate in that, let me explain the most basic items that you're going to need. So when you look at your professions, when you go to combat, when we're looking at our BLP sniper hit, that is for your BLP weapons, that's your hit, and range BLP damage, you need these two professions in order to max out BLP weapons. When you look at laser sniper hit and laser sniper damage, you need these two 
to max out laser weapons, specifically rifles. And then, obviously, uh, pistol hit and laser hit is for BLP pistol and BLP laser. So, as most of you know, when you're a very new player, when you very first start off, you're using those two T weapons, those Rubios, those Zoros. As your professions grow, you eventually max out the LR-10, the Armatrix Laser Rifle 10, and it maxes at level 15, laser sniper hit, and range laser damage. Both of those have to be level 15 to have it maxed out. Once you can use the LR-10, that's when you start climbing the Armatrix Laser Chain. And they max five levels after the name. So the 20 maxes at level 25, the 45 maxes at level 50, etc. So that is the first opportunity you really have to get a P20 extender, put it on an item that you're having to spend markup to get, <laughs> because spending 5-6% on the extender is cheaper than spending 18-22% to on the rifle, right? As far as markup goes. And then the extender is 20% of, of the decay. We all know that. It is also one of the first times where you can properly match an amp to a weapon. So example, if I look at my weapons here, I happen to have a BC-60 on me. I'm going to take the attachments off. I'm going to view info. So this is a BC-60 I happen to have on me. Let's go ahead and take the enhancers off too. So we notice that it can do 42 and a half to 85 damage that's the damage interval notice I do have it completely maxed out which is what we want so that lower number that 42 and a half that means the biggest amp it can handle is an amp that does 42.5 damage so if I look at the amp I have it's an Armatrix B amplifier so for a BLP weapon 42 which does exactly 42 damage so this is literally the perfect weapon with the perfect amp because they don't make an amp that does 42 and a half damage this is as close as I'm gonna get so I'm gonna want the weapon the appropriate amp and the appropriate extender which would be the P20 and that gives me the proper base setup so now my BC60 is set up as perfectly as I can pretty much get it with 72.6 percent efficiency 2705 ammo burn and a damage interval of 63 and a half to 127. So this same kind of setup system applies across the board to Armatrix. Anybody who's going to be participating in the Fight Club understands that. So for the Fight Club, like I said, the very first one is going to be on Next Island. I do not know exactly when yet. You will need to have your laser rifle, your BLP rifle, or your laser slash BLP pistol and preferably rifle, preferably not pistol, preferably rifle, to level 15 on both the hit and the damage profession. Because to participate in the very first Stevie Beast Fight Club, you will need bare minimum an LR-10 with appropriate amp and extender, or a BC-10, which is the BLP Armatrix rifle, with amp and extender. So you're going to need to have either your laser rifle hit and laser rifle damage at level 15 and an LR-10 with amp and extender, or you're going to need to have your BLP hit and your BLP damage at level 15 with a BC-10 amp and extender. Now, I'm going to let you guys pick which of those two you want. You can use either. It does not matter to me. You guys will be able to make smarter choices here in a moment once you have more information. You are free to use bigger weapons. You are free to use anything bigger than an LR-10 or bigger than a BC-10. You're free to use an LR-75 if you want. You're free to use an unlimited weapon if you want. But it would be ideal if everybody used the exact same weapon or one of like two weapons which is why I give the option of the LR versus the BC it doesn't necessarily make everybody have to have an LR doesn't necessarily make everybody have to have a BC it gives us at least two options to work with but it would be preferable if everybody used one of those two like I said people will be free to use bigger weapons that might actually be disadvantageous during fight clubs you might actually want to go with the weapon that everybody else is using during fight clubs, even if you have a higher efficiency weapon, even if you have a higher damage per peck weapon, even if you have a higher DPS weapon. 
it's not necessarily going to benefit you to go with a higher weapon during the Fight Club other than the minimum. And the reason I'm setting the minimum at the LR-10 and BC-10 is because of the fact that that is really the first part where people start climbing the Armatrix chain. That is going to open the Fight Club to the most number of people. And DPS isn't necessarily going to be a problem so long as we have an appropriate number of people doing the Fight Club. So why a larger, higher DPS, higher efficiency, higher damage per pack, higher damage output, higher damage interval weapon would be disadvantageous? You will find out as I give more information. But let's say that the bare minimum we're going to need is going to be that, either LR10 or BC10, amp and extender. Another thing you're going to need to participate in the Fight Club is going to be a decent amount of ammo. When I say decent amount of ammo, I mean enough ammunition to last you the entire Fight Club hunt without having to rely on shrapnel. And I know there's a lot of people scratching their heads going, okay, why wouldn't I rely on shrapnel? Just trust me, this will make more sense when people start private messaging me saying, hey, I would like to participate in the Fight Club. I would like all the details, please. But y those are the four things you're going to need. Enough ammo to last the entire Fight Club hunt, the weapon, the amplifier, and the extender. Now, that being said, I do not plan on these being eight-hour hunts. I do not plan on it being like an eight-hour event. Because of the way real life is, because of the way that my sleep pattern is and work is, I could not do an eight-hour event if I wanted to right now. There is a reason I had to train my dog to do mayhem for me. It's because I already do not sleep. I have to be at work in roughly eight and a half hours. Um, I've My sleep has been all screwed up. I've slept like six times in the past 36 hours. I don't get more than about two hours of sleep at a time. So even if I wanted to do an eight-hour event, it could not really happen. That being said, I am planning on the very first Fight Club being somewhere between like 45 minutes to two hours I don't want to necessarily make it too short but at the same time I don't want to make it too freakishly long where people are getting tired going okay I'm getting hungry okay real life's calling okay I need to do something else because ideally when we start the fight club I would like everybody that starts the fight club with me to be able to finish the fight club with me now, I understand that might be easier said than done. I might have to break it into sections. I might have to have like a two-hour fight club where every 15 minutes we take a quick second to say, does anybody want to bounce out before we start the next 15-minute section? That might be part of it. And I have a way to handle that if we need to do that. But I don't want to make it too short and don't want to make it too long. And in fact, we're probably going to do that. We're probably going to break it into sections where like every 15 to 20 minutes we stop and say, if anybody wants to bounce out now, say now before we start the next section. Because that would probably just be the easiest way to make everything happen that I want to happen. So I know that is fairly vague. It still doesn't give you guys a lot of information as to exactly what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be hunting, or how it's all going to work. But that is at least enough information that if this is something you think you might want to participate in, you can send me an in-game private message or in-game mail and you can say, hey, I would like more information for the Fight Club. And then we can start seeing how many people are interested, how many people would like to do this. And we can start trying to put the first event together. Because like I said, ideally, I don't want this to be something that gets put off for like three months. I would like for this to be something that we can make happen in the fairly near future, next week or two, maybe three. Some, sometime by like the end of June. Preferably well before the end of June. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, if it sounds like something you might be interested in, send me a private message in-game or send me an in-game mail and just say, hey, I'm interested. Get me more details on this fight club and we'll go from there. And once everybody gets the details, then they can make the decision, is this something they would like to participate in or no? All you guys have to do is let me know back yes or no. And then if it's a yes, I'll put you on the list for the fight club. If it's a no, I will hold off. Now, I will tell you up front there will be a potential for profit. Potential. But just because there is a potential for profit does not mean I can guarantee you a profit any more than I can guarantee that if I was to go out and hunt for an hour and a half, I would be sitting at a TT profit. I can't promise that. 
what I can promise you is it's going to be fun. The potential for profit for, will be there. There will be potential to profit in ways you would not be able to do outside of Fight Club hunting by yourself. And they will be good opportunities. And you won't has to have to waste a ton of time dealing with trades, auctions, the trade terminal. I've got it set up so essentially what I'm going for is, yes, there's an opportunity that there's some small hunting losses, but there's also the opportunity that it works out so that we have a very, very profitable hunt and hopefully an extremely profitable hunt where everybody goes, wow, I could not have made that kind of money just going out hunting on my own. And ideally, we want to have some fun in the process, right? So that being said, if this sounds like your cup of tea and you've got your hit and damage professions to at least level 15 or higher, you can at least use the LR10 or the BC10 or higher, and you're capable of getting your hands on the either LR or BC10 appropriate amp extender and having enough ammo to be able to last the hunt without having to rely on shrapnel and you would be interested in doing the first fight club on next island with me shoot me an in-game mail shoot me an in-game private message and just tell me you're interested and i will get you all the details you need to make an informed decision there's also some changes that will be coming to earnped.com in the fairly new, near future just because of the sheer number of people that have requested it i'm working on that i will let you guys know when that's live and i have more videos specifically from taloon that i'm wanting to do later this week for you guys so for now sip sip smack smack y'all know the rest hit that little subscribe button to subscribe to the channel because every subscriber matters and every like matters there is always a hater waiting to hit the dislike button the moment i upload a video so every single stevie hitting that like button matters tremendously and head over to earnped.com because when you earn, we earn, that is by far the best way you guys can help support us. There are a multitude of other pl players out there that have similar websites that let you do micro tasks for PED. If they have a website that specific functionality helps you in a way that earnped does not, we encourage you to use that and support them. However, we greatly appreciate it when people use earnped to help support us as it helps us keep earnped going. It helps us keep the videos coming, new content coming. It helps us offset the cost of all the research that we have to do off screen to get everything that we need to do for you guys on screen. So we greatly, greatly appreciate all the support from that aspect as well. Ton more content coming from you guys. Stay tuned. If you're interested in being in the first fight club, shoot me a message and we will go from there. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. Take care, Stevies.